I'm Brett Ratner, and you're watching Palm Beach Now. Palm Beach Now is proudly brought to you by Earl Hollis Realty. What is it that is going on with you, lady? Uh, we're here uh, tonight for an event with Fair Play. Fair Play is a uh, nonprofit performing rights organization who works to bring awareness and uh, an advocate for uh, royalties and uh, performance rights and, and things of that nature, um, take down notices and just kind of making it uh, more of a streamlined uh, way for artists to make a, a better career online and through uh, sales of their work. Uh, so I'll be performing with my buddy Justin Jeffries. Uh, Justin and I have been doing kind of the restaurant bar scene here in South Florida the last few weeks and uh, we'll be out this weekend and all around uh, Lake Worth, Palm Beach into the coming season. Is, so I remember you were in New York. Mm -hmm. What did you do in New York? Because I saw something with Netflix. Oh right, well um, I had a little stint of doing background acting gigs uh, for some extra income, which was really fun. Um, I was living in Woodstock, New York, um, and ah, spending Woodstock. some time, and yeah, it's a beautiful place. Uh, Showtime came there and filmed a series called Happy-ish. I went and gave them a headshot, and they needed people. And New York and New York City now, I think, is filming more than L.A. is Yeah, right because now. of the tax credits. Exactly. Yeah, so, um, there was a Showtime show. I just there's a show right now called The Get Down that I did. Um, that was fun. Baz Luhrmann, who directed, uh, created uh, Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> it's like of, that, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and some other shows. A commercial for Angry Orchard, but you know, just little things in the background. That was fun, awesome. Fun, I saw the yeah, picture, and it looks amazing. Yeah, it's so really nice. how far are you planning on going with your music? You think you're gonna forever. be forever? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's very cool. And let me ask you this. What is your favorite charity right now that you really would like to promote? Well, there's two uh, or three. Uh, what's really cool is that when you, you know, you really start meeting people from all walks of life when, in, when you're an artist. And uh, Will, of course, here has his uh, nonprofit, Fair Play. Um, uh, is that www.fairplay.com? Yeah, fairplay.org, I believe. .org, okay. Um, and what's the next one that you're doing? September 30th at milagrocenter.org, I believe. Okay, because we're going to put it at right. the bottom of the screen. Okay. Okay, when cool. we do our editing, so great, you, could, great. you know, whoever wants to be able to donate, I'd be happy to go to your website. And what's Wonderful. the third one that you mentioned? Um, there's a gentleman down here who I came in contact with. Two gentlemen. One is Stephen Machant, who's supposed to be here tonight. He just got back from um, California. He was, he's in Miami. He's running for Senate. Uh, and I'm trying to team him up with this guy, Kenny Hinkle Jr., who is working to restore the Everglades and protect the wetlands and, and rivers here in South Florida. He's in four different organizations right now. Uh, now or never Everglades, which is I pretty much. you mentioned something about the. They're pretty the, much, you know, working water, yeah. working to keep. You know, the Everglades, of course, is a World Heritage Site, and there's only a few of them in the world, and yes. so it's it's pretty much a huge deal. Um, so it's just my honor and pleasure to do what I do, have people have a touch people and reach out to me and say, hey, could you play here, perform this, or That's I like what awesome you do. So, yeah, you know, just Isn't gotta... that incredible that I just said it's an honor to be next to somebody that is so charitable and so talented? So then my last question to you is, what do you feel that you're doing for the planet to save our wonderful Mother Earth? Um, well, I really hope to be working with Kenny Hinkle Jr. more and at least just kind of keep an open dialogue and communication and connecting some people. I think Steve Machat would, would be a wonderful person for them to team up with um, and really um, just working to preserve the Everglades. Again, a World Heritage Site and um, it's one of the largest wetlands on the planet. So it's very much a huge part of the state, our country, and the planet. So, um, yeah, just uh, he talked about maybe having me come on for some shows and some performances and stuff like that. So he's just a wonderful guy. He works tirelessly to uh, to help this, this, this state, this country. Um, and uh, I just hope to be doing more with him for that. My goodness, that's wonderful, Billy. I'm very oh, impressed you. by you. And Marilla Monroe is <laughs> She was don't wondering. forget her. Yeah, don't forget Marilla Monroe. She wants to make sure that you're helping the dogs and the cats. Listen to her. But it's been an honor, and I hope to have you again on the show. Um, I know that it's a little noisy because everybody's looking forward to listening yeah. to you tonight, and that's what we're going to do, and we'll have 
you on the show. Yeah. Great, my pleasure. Thank you yeah, so thanks. much. Thank you. Gloria Cristel Haller. We'll see you soon on Bobby Schnell. Bye. Bye.